Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. This is my video of an amazing day that I spent at the Belmont Estate when I was invited in to do another field to fork experience. Today's plan was fairly simple. I wanted to see the animals in the field and then cook some amazing meat in the bluebell wood. And this is where the day started in the fields on the estate meeting the cows. And here they are, they are absolute beauties. You can see why they get their name rubies. These cows are so gorgeous and so inquisitive. But it was soon time to leave these guys and find the sheep. Now you might think that this is odd, but I'm actually showing you what's on the menu today. I want to know exactly where my food comes from and this is really important to me. These guys haven't got a care in the world. They're happy, they're healthy and they're living outdoors on everything that was intended for them. The next stop was to walk back to the car, head up into the woods and see the next group, the pigs. So these are the, the black Berkshire pigs. And whilst it sounds a little bit cruel, this is what we're going to be eating today. But it's important that you know exactly where your food comes from. This is where uh, these pigs live in this beautiful woodland scene here. You can see just sort of there is, uh, is sort of a, a natural home for them that's been built out of uh, all the materials here. And whilst they're cute, I do want to eat one. So the Belmont actually produced their own charcoal. The plan was to use some of this to get a base fire going and then use the fallen trees as fuel. So the plan was to use some of the wood that I normally use, but seeing as there's plenty and plenty of just fallen branches and things like that, I'm just going to use that and keep it just that little bit more natural. So from the field to the grill, this is what I'd be cooking today. Hoggett lamb chops, ruby red rump steak, some beautiful pork and some lamb sausages. It's not a bad place to be cooking today, is it? I was lucky to not lose the drone doing this, but it was pretty cool. The key with sausages to stop them splitting is don't have the heat too high. Just put them on and constantly turn them to get that beautiful color. Now to go with the sausages, I've got some homemade mint sauce, some smoked chili jam, and a little salt and pepper. These sausages were absolutely delicious. And after a couple of Instagram shots and a really awkward sausage eating scene, it was on to the next. The rubies, and I couldn't wait. Half went into the skillet and half I did straight over the fire. It wasn't long before these were done and I couldn't wait to taste it. Another few more Instagram shots and I was ready to eat. I used a cinnamon and date rub on the pork and threw in an apple for a bit of extra flavour and I cooked up the hoggett chops just so that they were medium rare in the middle. I had an amazing day thanks to the Belmont Estate for inviting me in. It's really important that I know where my food comes from and I can see that the animals were well looked after. Thanks again for watching, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you soon for the next adventure.